briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The dispute between two neighboring property owners, the Davises and the Westfalls, took center stage in the Montana Supreme Court, a misguided assumption by the Westfalls that a line of survey flags marked the boundary between their properties led to the encroachment on the Davises land. In response, the Davises sought legal action, demanding the Westfalls to remove the trespassing structures and restore their property to its original state. In the first instance, the 11th Judicial District Court denied the Davises' petition. Their plea to enforce the Westfalls to immediately rectify their actions was declined. Provoked by the lower court's ruling, the Davises headed to the Montana Supreme Court, arguing their right to mandatory injunctive relief and common law ejectment. Upon review under Mr. Civ P. 56 and Section 3, 2, 204, 5, MCA, the Montana Supreme Court upheld the district court's decision, as penned in the majority opinion by Justice Sandifer. Citing that the provision of injunctive relief is specific to each distinct case, the court held that there was insufficient evidence to warrant immediate removal of the encroachments. The controversy did not stop there with the Westfalls cross-appealing the court's declaration of their structures as trespassing encroachments. This appeal, though, was rejected due to its premature nature, with the court opting for remanding the case for further proceedings. The final decision placed focus on the fact that injunctive relief, an appropriate but extraordinary remedy, is not available as a right. Justice Sandifer confirmed the district court's judgment of correctly limiting the Davis's claim to a declaration of trespass only causing the need for mandatory injunctive relief to remain in further discussion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.